Hello and welcome to the podcast today. I am Megan Hillier, restaurant genealogist and host of Know Your Ancestors, and we are going to dive into the ancestry of a celebrity today. So I chose Johnny Depp. <laughs> he is a pretty famous actor, and it's been kind of fun to dive into his ancestry, see things about his family, his ancestors, his claims of indigenous roots and I'm excited to share that with with you today to see if those claims are true and see what we can find out about Johnny Depp's ancestors. Now, when I talk about people's ancestors, something that I believe is a driving force in learning about our ancestors is that when we learn about our ancestors, their lives, their experiences, their possible trauma and hardships, but then we can learn more about ourselves. We can learn what things might have been passed down, what beliefs we might have inherited, and how we can maybe start challenging those beliefs once we know their roots. So today I'm going to share with you about Johnny Depp. We're going to dive into his ancestors, some of his life, and, and we'll go from there. All right. So here's a couple pictures of the wonderful Johnny Depp. If you are watching this on YouTube or on Spotify, you'll be able to see these pictures and things that I share as I talk about Johnny Depp and his ancestors. So you can go check that out there. If you're just listening on the podcast, you can go to the show notes and click the link to watch along with me. All right. So Johnny Depp, he was born as John Christopher Depp. On the 9th of June, 1963, in Owensboro, Kentucky. Now, he, his parents were Betty Sue Wells and John Depp. They were married February 16th, 1960, in Jellicoe, Tennessee. Betty Sue was 25 and John was 21. So John's father, or Johnny's father, John, was attending the University of Kentucky, Betty Sue had been previously married and had two children at the time of their marriage. That was interesting on their marriage announcement that's here, this newspaper marriage announcement, that her name is listed as Miss Betty Sue Wells. Now, on her marriage record, uh, her name is Betty Sue Dale, because that must have been her married name. But then she was divorced, had two children, and married Johnny Depp's father, John Christopher Depp. Now, here is a picture of Johnny Depp with his mother and father. They were divorced when Johnny was 15, and Johnny's teen years and childhood was pretty rough. His father was a civil engineer and was absent most of the time, and Johnny said that his mom was maybe the meanest human being he had ever met. It seems that there was some physical abuse, drug abuse, things going on there. That was not the best childhood environment. But this is why I chose to kind of take a deeper look at his mother's family line and those his maternal ancestors. So Betty, Johnny's mother, had at least four siblings. Her father was a coal miner. And here is the 1940 census of her. So here's Betty Sue and her father, Everett Wells, and Bessie Wells, this is her mother, and then four other siblings. So you got Jacqueline, Bill, then Peggy Jean, Rayburn, and Richard were younger than her. Oh, no, actually, Richard. <laughs> Richard is her grandfather, sorry, that was living with, with the family. He's 73. Okay, so there's four other siblings, and then her grandfather was also living there too. And this is another line from the census. If you keep going, it's kind of a long line, so I clipped it off here. But he, Betty's father, Everett, was a coal miner. And this 700 here tells how much money he made in 1939. So he made $700. $700 in 1939 is about the equivalent of earning $15,000 per year today. So needless to say, Betty and her family likely lived in poverty. They lived in the unincorporated community of Glow in Floyd County, Kentucky. It was named after the, the coal company and it was basically just a coal mining camp there in, in 1940. And they likely lived in, this is a photo of Glow, Kentucky. They likely lived in one of these type of homes, okay? Ten years earlier, in 1930, Betty's parents, Everett and Bessie, uh, were living with her grandparents, Branch and May Whitaker. 
her mother's parents in a nearby coal mining community, Wayland. So this is like less than a mile away. So this is another similar type of community. It was just created for coal mining. And that's where Betty's parents lived with her grandparents. Okay, Betty's father and grandfather were both working in the coal mine. Betty's mother, Bessie Whitaker, was born in about 1907. So Bessie would be uh, Johnny Depp's grandmother. Her father was a general farm laborer living in Floyd, Kentucky in 1910. And she was living near aunts and uncles and her grandparents. They likely all lived on the same farmland. And then her family likely left this farm around 1913 when these coal mining settlements were formed. And then they lived there for the next at least, at least 10 to 20 years. So this is Betty's grandmother, Way Sloan Whitaker, in the middle with her da daughter Bessie, or Betty's mother, on the right. So May Sloan is Johnny Depp's great-grandmother. Okay, that's her here in the middle. These three generations seem to have lived in poverty in Floyd, Kentucky. So they were coal miners, lived in Kentucky. Before they were coal miners, they lived on their own farmland with lots of other family members. Families kind of mixed together, married into each other. Some of May Sloan's siblings married Whitakers. So they had lots of relatives there on that farmland and then moved to other communities to, I guess, make more money as coal miners. So I want to go back a couple more generations in Johnny Depp's family tree. So here's Johnny Depp, his mother, her mother, Bessie, her mother, May Sloan. And then we're going to take a look at Amanda Bradley and Wiley Sloan, These, this couple here, mostly Amanda Bradley. So this is the line that it seems many public trees on ancestry claim that Johnny Depp had indigenous roots. In interviews in, in 2002 and 2011, Johnny Depp claimed to have Native American ancestry. He said, I guess I have some Native American somewhere down the line. My great-grandmother was quite a bit of Native American. She grew up Cherokee or maybe Creek Indian. Okay, so he says his great-grandmother. So that would be, that would be May Sloan, right? And I don't know, if you look at this picture, it doesn't look like she's Indigenous, but who knows? Um None of the records say that she was, but when we go down the line, I'll, I'll show you some more about that. So I decided to research this, this line again in public ancestry trees. There's a lot of information. So this is information about May Sloan's mother. So Amanda or Mandy Bradley. This information is copied on several ancestry trees. So I scoured those trees to try to find where... They're getting their information from. A lot of it is probably passed down from family. Who knows? Or who started this? I don't know. Actually, the person that had this tree, their last name was Bradley. So maybe they are a descendant of the Bradley line, probably. So just because you might not be able to find proof of where they got this information, family stories and family information is still proof. But we'll dig into that. <laughs> okay. So here's... Amanda Bradley. This would be Johnny Depp's second great grandmother. And then her, her parents, William Jefferson Bradley and Elizabeth Pridemore. Okay, so these little pictures and things here were copied from a public ancestry tree. So supposedly there's some Cherokee roots here with Amanda Bradley and her parents, but we will see what we can find. So this might be hard to read, but here's the marriage record of Amanda Bradley so Giant, and Wiley St Sloan, so Depp's second great-grandparents. Wiley was 19, so here you can see Wiley Sloan here. He was uh, 19 years old. I don't know if you can even see that very well. 19 years of age. It's his first marriage. He was a farmer in Floyd C County, Kentucky. And then here's Amanda Bradley. She was also living in Floyd County, Kentucky, and was 16 years of age. And this was both of their first marriages. She was married in the house of William Bradley. So that was in her, her father's home. Amanda was born about, so it would have been about 1849, 1850 in Floyd County. 
So here she is in the home of her parents, William and Elizabeth Bradley in 1850. You can see this column here says color and it's left blank. So um, mulatto would have been what indigenous would likely have been uh, recorded as for their color. But then again, sometimes they would have recorded as white because being indigenous was often not seen as uh, a good thing at the time. So here's William Bradley and Elizabeth, and then their daughter, Amanda, who is Johnny Depp's second great-grandmother. So this is Johnny Depp's third great-grandparents, William and Elizabeth, and their many children. Then in the 1860 census, the color was also left blank there. Here's the 1870 census. You can kind of read it here. Now, it almost looks like an M, but when you look at all of the other letters, you can see the M kind of starts as a curl and then down, and then the W starts at the bottom and goes up. So comparing the letters on the entire page and all of the people on the page, it looked the same as this W for white. And then in the 1840 census, so I decided to go back a little farther. Maybe we would have more color. Here's William. So this is William Bradley. So this is Johnny Depp's third great-grandfather. He is living in Floyd, Kentucky still. And in this census, it was really hard to read on the actual documents. So I just am showing the indexed information here. Um, and also in the 1840 census, they just... Uh, count how many and of each of these ages were in the household. They don't list everyone, uh, but you can see that they are all listed as white. So I was not finding any proof that Amanda or her parents had indigenous roots, so I decided to take a look at the public ancestry tree and see what their explanation was for saying that they had Cherokee blood. So this is Elizabeth Pridemore, Johnny Depp's third great-grandmother, who it was said on this, the details of this picture that she spoke Cherokee. Then on her Find a Grave Memorial, which doesn't provide any sources or links to sources, it says that in February 1825, when she was 11 years old, her mother died shortly after childbirth. So this is Elizabeth, Johnny Depp's third great-grandmother, says her mother died when she was 11 years old. Okay, and then her father remarried when she was 14 to a widow on Caney Creek of Wright Beaver Creek in what is now not County in Kentucky. He married Rachel Terry on November 25th, 1828. Rachel was of mostly Chira and some European ancestry. Chira's indigenous tribe, I believe. And she was the daughter of Private Miles B. or Devil Jet Terry Sr., Okay, so doesn't say anything about Elizabeth mother, Elizabeth's mother having indigenous roots, but that when her father remarried, that that woman, Rachel Terry, did have indigenous roots. So maybe she taught Johnny Depp's third great-grandmother, Elizabeth, maybe she taught her Cherokee. I'm not totally sure how that all works out, or maybe there is some Cherokee roots in there deeper. But when I looked at, so it said that they were living in the 1830 census. It says that after he had married Rachel, that they were reported living in Kentucky. I found that census and they are both, the whole household is listed as white. So I don't know where, if there is proof necessarily of those indigenous roots of Johnny Depp. From what I can see, I don't see anything besides uh, these photos that they do look like they could have some indigenous roots. And again, family stories can pass that information on. Records don't always tell everything, obviously. <laughs> okay, I hope that that was interesting for you to dive a little deeper into Johnny Depp's roots. He had a lot going on in his childhood, and I feel like some of that experience of his mother, maybe his grandmother, and further down the line, living in a poverty and maybe really hard circumstances in the hills of Kentucky. Mining, coal mining was not a very, very profitable or well-off profession. And it was probably a hard childhood for many of those ancestors of Johnny Depp. But I thought it was interesting to take a look and to see where some of those maybe roots of his claiming of indigenous roots comes from. If any of you 
learn more about that or want to dig deeper into that. I know a lot of genealogists listen to this podcast. So I would love to see if you find any proof, but I hope that you enjoyed the podcast and we will be back next week to learn some more about how we can learn more about our ancestors and how we can uh, connect to them. I feel like there's a lot of power in knowing who our ancestors are and were, that they can help us in our own lives and give us strength and help us understand who we are in a bit of our own, own beginnings. So thanks so much for listening today and we will see you next time. Thanks again for listening to the podcast. I'd love for you to leave a rating and review and share this episode with your friends and we'll see you next week.